live here on India Today. I'm Akshita Ananta Gopal. This evening, as we get to our special broadcast on the political battle that's playing out in Telangana, I'm joining you live from Hyderabad, in the heart of the city, where Prime Minister Narendra Modi is holding currently a four-kilometer roadshow that's attracted over 50,000 people. You can hear the chants of Jai Shri Ram and Modi as the Prime Minister's convoy is expected to come here where I am, close to YMCA, any moment now. Everyone's got their phones out, everyone's taking videos as the Prime Minister is making his way through the crowds. You can see him uh, waving at everyone who's gathered around here. There are scores of people in a sea of saffron as the city of Hyderabad has been completely painted over this time around. Now, in a fight that we've been seeing between the PRS and the Congress largely, where everyone's been saying that the BJP is in third place, perhaps if anything can turn it around for the BJP, it's Prime Minister Modi. They know that full well, which is why they're pulling all stops right now for this particular campaign as well. Let's talk to some of the people here who've gathered as well and find out what they have to say. Hi, hi. Where have all of you come from? Narendra. You're from here. So you've come just to catch a glimpse of Prime Minister Modi? Yes, yes, yes. Are you going to be voting for the BJP? But? Of course, obviously. Yeah. We have yeah. Yeah. And we request everybody to vote for Mr. Modi. Yeah. Do you think that the BJP stands a chance in Telangana? I'm sure you know about the prospect. We wish and we hope that he only elects you. Tell me, you're, as a young person in Hyderabad, what do you want in the city and do you think the BJP can bring that for you? I'll definitely vote with Modi and I wish he comes to Hyderabad. Okay, but why? Why are you voting for Modi? What is it that makes you vote for Modi or the BJP? Everything that is done for the past five years, the development in India, in the whole country, various taken as economical status, everything. My vote is definitely for Modi. But Modi is not contesting in your MLA constituency. So no, we'll, definitely yeah. we'll definitely vote for the party. We'll definitely vote for the party he is in, no? He's so that party is definitely yeah. making changes for the India. So it's the Modi factor that makes you vote for the Everything, yeah. everything, yes. So youngsters are saying that the Prime Minister makes a difference, which is why you're seeing so much excitement as well. People gathering here, this is what I refer to when I said that, you know, when people come here, when the Prime Minister touches down here, it makes a big difference as well. Let's talk to some people out here. Where have you come from? I'm from Hyderabad. Okay, and you've decided that you're going to vote for the BJP? Yes, of course, it's decided always. You're wearing saffron also, perfectly yes, for yes, the is that why you're the first and Modi, 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 Modi. Okay, so I can tell you that the convoy is nearing. I'm a chance of Modi, Modi. There are also a lot of chance of Jai Sri Ram as well. Look at the images on your screens right now. 50,000 people have gathered for this roadshow. Surely that's also going to translate to a few votes. And that's what the BJP really is counting on. Remember that the last time, now in 2018, the BJP fared rather poorly. The one seat that they won was here in the city of Hyderabad, but that was in Goshamel. Now, this time around, they're looking to change things around. They're looking to ensure that more people also come out to vote for the BJP and that this becomes truly a triangular contest. Somewhere along the campaign, there have been questions about whether the BJP has been left behind. And the Prime Minister, in the last leg of the campaign, the last three days, non-stop, he's been here in the city of Hyderabad, uh, camping, uh, and not just in Hyderabad, really, across Telangana, campaigning, ensuring that he holds all these massive roadshows. And you can see right now that the convoy is coming closer and closer. The Prime Minister taking his time, waving at the people. You can see all the flower petals that are being showered upon him. He's taking it all in, enjoying the love that he's receiving right now from the people of Telangana. And you can see right now that the Prime Minister is edging closer and closer to where I am. Uh, there is, in fact, all of these flags that you see on your screens, a saffron surge, if you will, in the city of Hyderabad. And the kind of preps that have gone into this rally is also massive. The BJP knows what's at stake. And when it's a Narendra Modi rally, you can expect nothing but a spectacle of this sort. As the Prime Minister is making his way through the roads of Hyderabad, the convoy moving slowly closer and closer towards us. And that's why around me you can hear the chants of Modi and Modi getting louder and louder. But there's no doubt at all that there is a Narendra Modi factor involved in every single election, even here in the state of Telangana. There are so many people 
who've come together here right now to go ahead and campaign for uh, uh, the BJP. There are so many people for whom the only difference is the fact that you have the Prime Minister out here. And it makes a huge difference really in ensuring that they get the votes as well. And there you have the Prime Minister with both his hands up in the air, waving to the people. And as he gets closer and closer, you can see the excitement at its peak. With him there on that platform, you can see also that uh, the Telangana BJP chief, Kishan Reddy, is there. And there you have the Prime Minister getting a flower shower of sorts here. And I'm just going to let you get in the atmospherics. He's passing by as I speak right now. And you can see the excitement is at its peak. There are people here pushing and jostling right through. Uh, and everyone's running, running with the convoy to wave at the Prime Minister. A fleeting glimpse. That's all they're all fighting for right now. So these are images that we're getting to you of it. Uh, uh, with this massive, massive roadshow, uh, 50,000 people who've gathered here. And look at those images on your screens, viewers. This is what really the elections is all about in every single state. And here to... All right, uh, Akshita Nand Gopal is right there, right at the spot where Prime Minister's rally is passing through in Hyderabad. Barely two days to go for Telangana elections, and uh, here our focus is on that very poll stage. Prime Minister Modi there, uh, rolling his convoy along the streets of Hyderabad as. In two days' time, the same audience goes to polls. They will be voting for the next government for the state of Telangana. Prime Minister Modi, they're really pushing for uh, BJP's prospects in the state of Telangana. We know that uh, they have uh, tied up with uh, Pavan Kalyan. The BJP has tied up with Pavan Kalyan's Jan Sena. Akshita Nand Gopal, who's there right at the spot, she's right at the epicenter. Uh, the jammers with uh, Prime Minister Modi's security there uh, leading to a patchy connection. But Akshita, if you're with us, over to you. Thanks very much, Rabeel. Apologies for that to our viewers, but expect, considering that uh, along with the Prime Minister's convoy, there is massive security, including jammers, that jams up our signals completely. Uh, but I can tell you that what I've seen here is nothing short of euphoria on the streets of Hyderabad. Unlike anything I've seen before, because I've been across Telangana covering several political rallies, and so far have been a tad disappointed with the kind of response that, in fact, the BJP rallies have been getting when compared to the BR and the Congress rallies. They've been pulling in a lot more people uh, and that clearly shows you that maybe in the triangular contest that we've been talking about, the BJP has fallen behind. With this particular rally, there will be questions about whether that changes, whether the Modi factor can actually change things around for the, Prime Min uh, for the BJP here in Telangana. One rally that we've seen, one roadshow here in Hyderabad, but mind you, similar ones like this have been conducted for the last three days at least. We've been seeing non-stop public rallies by the Prime Minister, not just here in Hyderabad, uh, but in Karim Nagar, in Kamaredi, in several other areas that he's been traveling. He's been ensuring that he sends out a message that if you're voting for the BJP, vote for Narendra Modi, and that will make a difference in your local constituency as well. We've debated this, discussed it, uh, you know, so many times also discussed the Modi effect in the elections, even if it is a state election, even if people are holding their MLA accountable, there is a Modi factor that counts, and that's what the BJP is also banking on. I want to bring in our reporters also on this broadcast. We've got Apurva Jayachandran standing at another vantage point of this roadshow. Abdul Bashir is also with us. Abdul is where the rally, the roadshow comes to an end. And there, Abdul, very symbolically, Prime Minister Modi is also going to be paying his respects to Veer Savarkar. At, in fact, the bus to Veer Savarkar that is in the city of Hyderabad. Yes, absolutely. See, Prime Minister Narendra Modi will be here in a few minutes. As you can see, he's arriving. As of now, people, a sea of crowd is welcoming uh, Prime Minister Narendra Modi, showering flowers all over this road from YMCA circle to the end point where uh, Veer Savarkar's statue or Veer Savarkar's marg here 
where he will pay, play, you know, pay us uh, plural tributes to Veer Savarkar at this point here. So a sea of crowd can be seen here all around uh, this uh, uh, Kachiguda circle uh, where PM Narendra Modi's uh, uh, roadshow will end at this point in time. So this, uh, as, as you can see, the arrival of uh, escort vehicles of Prime Minister Narendra Modi, within a few minutes he will be here. He, uh, all, all the uh, supporters have started chanting, uh, welcoming Prime Minister Narendra Modi at this point. Uh, this aggressive campaign that we have seen for the past three days, Prime Minister Narendra Modi was in Telangana, where he had uh, held uh, many uh, roads, uh, many uh, you know public meetings here. Aggressive campaign by the BJP with an agenda uh, to uh, come to power in the state of Telangana, form double engine Sarkar is what they uh, claim. So this uh, uh, you know kind of roadshow that we see a massive crowd, more than 50,000 uh, you know people have gathered here to welcome Prime Minister Narendra Modi. This is said to be an important day for the BJP. Ahead two day, we are just two days ahead from the. Uh, poll uh, day that is November 30th and this is the uh, scenario that we see all uh, all uh, you know covered all the uh, people here covered in saffron the whole road can be seen uh, you know covered in saffron as of now so this uh, way uh, people of Hyderabad welcoming Prime Minister Narendra Modi in the heart of the city here uh, from children to elderly everyone everyone standing in a queue just to get a glimpse of Prime Minister Narendra Modi while he is arriving as you can see in the visuals Prime Minister Narendra Modi's convoy is just to uh, reach at this end point where uh, this uh, you know, uh, uh, rally, this roadshow uh, will end here and after which he will get down from the vehicle and pay floral tributes to Veer Savarkar here at this statue. As you can see, uh, security officials are getting uh, ready uh, for arrival of Prime Minister Narendra Modi. Several of the cadres have assembled here. Uh, we have G. Kishan Reddy who is along with Prime Minister Narendra Modi in the convoy, the state BJP president and also uh, Rajya Sabha MP, uh, you know, uh, uh, also uh, with him in that particular convoy. So as we uh, speak, the convoy is uh, nearing and within few mo moments, uh, Prime Minister Narendra Modi will reach this point, the end point where this uh, road show uh, will end. Uh, it is said to, uh, said to be a big evening uh, for uh, the politics in Telangana where a mega road show that has been set up by the BJP uh, Prime Minister himself welcoming people, greeting people and people also giving a, a you know a, a equal response to Prime Minister Narendra Modi. Uh, several of the followers and people have assembled here. Now it is just few minutes from now that Prime Minister Narendra Modi will arrive at this spot, at this place uh, where uh, this roadshow will end. The agenda for BJP as we speak uh, is uh, that uh, you know the, uh, the government here, BRS government uh, is uh, said to be a family rule is going on, appeasement politics is being done, corruption is the charges that the BJP government and uh, especially Prime Minister Narendra Modi in his every speech had been mentioning and he also promised that uh, once BJP is voted to power all the charges of corruption will be probed by the Bharati Janta Party. So this is the promise that he has made to the people of Telangana. This election season, as we see, the agenda also set with the BC Chief Minister. BJP is voted to power and also a uniform civil code to be implemented. 4% reservation of minorities to be scrapped and then it will be distributed to the other OBC and the other sections of the you know backward class community. So this all this agenda has been set for the state of Telangana, especially for Hyderabad, as we see that this day uh, where uh, Prime Minister Narendra Modi is holding a road show, the name of Hyderabad will also uh, be changed to Bhagyanagar is what is a promise that uh, Prime Minister Narendra Modi had earlier made and recently we have heard Himanta Biswa Sarma, uh, CM Yogi also who had been speaking of crowd chanting Modi, Modi and uh, very uh, soon he is set to arrive at this end point the, as, as he is nearing the enthusiasm the enthusiasm in the crowd uh, tends to increase uh, with the, him moving. As you can hear, many people here uh, chanting slogans uh, in, uh, in, you know, in respect to in welcoming Prime Minister Narendra Modi. Security beefed up at a, a peak here. More than 1,500 to 1,600 officials have been deployed for this particular two-kilometer road show.